This is what's known as NATO's Eyes in the Sky. And up there you can see a radar dome because it's a surveillance plane. Now, we're told operations from this base in Western Germany have really intensified since the Russian invasion. This flight's about to take off and we're going to be on it. and it's not exactly a passenger plane. For one thing, there are hardly any windows. It is, in fact, a flying office and, as you can see, a pretty extraordinary one. Yeah, they haven't set up a sensor here yet, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, we are in uh, Polish airspace and we are located roundabout at the uh, Belarusian and uh, Ukrainian border. I am Staff Sergeant Bob here. I'm the radar technician and I'm in charge of the radar. We use it to scan the air. Right here we've got the surveillance uh, team who is responsible for, for producing recognized air picture. Uh, with our radar we're able to uh, see pretty far out and then whatever we do see we report that. But the challenge of this mission is that suddenly it is in your own backyard. If it is somewhere else, you don't feel as anxious as we are doing now. But knowing this is, is Europe, it gives you a little bit of an extra tension in there. We've been in the air about five hours now, and we're in Polish airspace sort of doing a figure of eight. But we've been told we're going to be in the air an extra two hours. It seems they want to keep going, keep collecting information. We definitely detected a large number of uh, Russian or Belarusian uh, aircraft that marshaled in uh, Belarus and then ingressed into Ukraine for probably about 20 minutes and then egressed back to the north. So we were able to see that occurring in real time and report it up. NATO sometimes accused in this situation of just watching on. Does it feel like that's what you're doing? I don't think so. Uh, Again, our role is to protect NATO territory and ensure the sovereignty of NATO airspace. 